succulent growers, it's Lynn. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can remove mealybug that is hiding right underneath the neck of your cactus. Now I'm going to be using my Koi Panther ball wiggies here as a perfect example because I went to repot these now and I got them out of the pot. At first glance, as you can see here, they look very healthy, very perfect, no signs of mealybug. If I show you here, give them a shake, no signs of mealybug at all around the neck of them. But when I went to remove the soil, I actually saw, look at this, there is mealybugs, there's one big juicy one there all under just under below the soil line now i just want to mention these are definitely not root mealybugs because when you remove plants from the pots you'll see root mealybug it has almost like a bluish whitish glow to it the roots will have a bit of a almost neon bluey pale bluey white glow and you'll see the, the little bugs as well as well as the white powdery nests these have definitely got have not got root mealybug they have normal mealybug that has been hiding way below the, the soil line there. And the reason for this, I think, is the reason why it's happened is I use neem oil on my cacti and succulents with great success. I seem to keep mealybug and spide mite down to an absolute minimum. You're never going to get rid of them completely because pests are always around, especially when you have a lot of plants. But I certainly keep it under control by using neem. And the reason why I think these have been hiding way below the soil line, look at that there, is because they're, it's the only place I haven't got them with the neem oil. Now I often water, the, or used to water the plants a lot with neem as well and I think that would have, if I'd have been keeping up with that, it would have probably prevented these. But because I've been spraying them, the reason why they're all nice and clean and there's no mealy bug at first glance, they're hiding where the neem oil has not affected them. Now neem oil is a little bit different to other insecticides, it's not a quick fix, it works by, by affecting the bug's reproductive system. So you do have to keep using it and it weakens the bugs over time. So because I need something very fast acting today, I'm going to be using a systemic that I'm going to um, spray onto the cactus. I don't normally recommend using systemics, I'm all for organic methods or natural methods and neem oil is very good. I know a lot of people can't always get neem oil in certain countries but I always prefer that and also the rubbing alcohol which is very good. I'm going to be using this first but in this case because it's something I have to have very thorough I'm going to be using a systemic and what I'm going to be doing is just spraying it, spraying the whole plant and also spraying it a little bit onto the below the soil line as well to kill all any remaining pests that still remain once I've used the, the ag alcohol. And you can use, I'd say, rubbing alcohol, I'd say a minimum of 70% or higher to get rid of mealybugs on contact. This is 99.9%. .9%. Sometimes I dilute it with a little bit of water if I'm using it on some succulents that are a bit sensitive. But these type of cactus can take almost 100% alcohol, so no problem there. So now I'm going to be showing you um, how, to, uh, how to do it. And I just wanted to make this video as well to make you aware when I would not have seen this if I wasn't repotting these because I always, always check. I mean, every few days I go into the, the greenhouse and polytunnel, thoroughly check for pests. If I see any, I, I get it straight away. And I always give the little cactus a shake so I can see under the soil line as well, move my finger, because that's where mealybugs will often hide. And I never see, as you can see, there's none visible on any of these right at the base. So this, I'd have to remove the soil off to have seen them. So thank goodness I'm repotting these. And um, this, I just wanted to make you guys aware of this. So here we go, I'm gonna show you now how to remove them. Now, if you want to know what that crackling noise is, it's actually raining on the, on the greenhouse. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm happy it's raining because we've had it so dry for such a long time. Now, little bowl here, a little bit of the rubbing alcohol in there. And, uh, I'm going to remove as many as I physically can with the contact. This is actually very good, the rubbing alcohol, because it kills them on contact, as you can see. Now, first of all, this is going to remove more of the soil here, loosen it up. But as I say, it's not root mealybug. If it was root mealybug, it'd be a whole new thing. And I've made a video on how to treat root mealybug on cacti and succulents. So if you've got root mealybug, then do check that video out. I'll link that one up above and down below. As you see, great roots, no root mealies or anything. So it is just normal mealies hiding under the neck. And here we go on contact. A big juicy mealy bug has gone now. <laughs> and 
here and also want to make sure I go over it and then I'm going to let this dry the good thing about rubbing alcohol it dries pretty quickly as well so it's not something that you have to wait ages so that's the first one done so that's them two and then I'm going to show you an example of another one here now this is how I got caught out how you can clearly see there's no signs of mealybugs or anything on there and I always check under the base as I mentioned but look I bet you this has got it as well If I was to, when I loosen it up here, the soil, when I went to repot, this is where they are. See that white there? All the little things. Look at that. So look at this hiding so low down. Like I would never have seen them. So again, now rubbing alcohol. This kills them on contact. I just want to mention that after I'm going to be sterilizing this whole tray and everything before I carry on repotting any more plants because all you need is one mealybug lurking about so it's going to get a good good wash all at the base. I say it's not root mealybugs so I don't need to worry there but I'm going to be when I use the systemic I'm actually going to be spraying the roots as well so there's none lurking about. There you go now. I'm not going to show you the whole of the others. I'll just show you when it's done. So I'm going to carry on doing the others now. That's the last one to do. And just look at that. Covered in the pesky mealybugs. Now that's all the little cuties. All been treated, removed. Practically, well, every mealybug I can physically see. And now I'm just going to wait for the rubbing alcohol to dry. Probably wouldn't take long. And then I'm going to spray them with the Systemic Bug Clear Ultra. Now I've made the spray up and these are as good as dry so I'm going to spray them now with a Systemic. And you have to repeat it again in 14 days time so I'm not actually going to repot these. I'm going to just spray them all and then leave them in a, in a shady position that's bright so they've got enough light but away, obviously away from direct sunshine. Then repeat them again in two weeks time. And then when I go to pot them up, I'm going to sprinkle a little small amount of diatomaceous earth into their soil. Because although they don't have root mealybugs, this will also help prevent the, the normal mealybugs from hiding under the base of the plant. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit on top of the soil as well. You don't have to do this, it's just a bit of extra, just a little bit extra to really prevent them. So obviously I've made the mixture up and I'm going to thoroughly spray them. You want to spray until... Uh, drip off and then turn them around and I say I'm going to be spraying the roots even though they don't have root mealybug because if there's any mealies hiding they can't hide into the roots and soil there you go so we're obviously going to wait for that to dry and then repeat it again in two weeks time and in the meantime I'm going to keep these as I mentioned in a shady position away from direct sunshine so I hope you found that useful guys and hopefully you shouldn't have that happen but I just wanted to make this video to be extra careful because mealybugs can hide in the most hardest of places and the reason why I think they have been hiding so far down under the neck is because they're that's they know that's the place where the neem oil hasn't been touching them so hopefully these little cuties will go on to survive and as I mentioned when you're dealing when you've got trays and things like this I'm taking these into into the house now in a shady spot and I'm going to be completely cleaning this tray as well using the rubbing alcohol to clean this tray up so thank you so much for watching guys so it's not a happy video but hope the rain soothed you while you were watching this disaster mealybug video and for lots more tips and tricks on growing and caring for cacti and sucklings please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell as well so you're notified when i upload videos and also do please check my website out desertplantsofavalon.com for lots more care tips on how to grow cacti and succulents i want to wish you all a bug free happy cactus powered day bugs be gone